Morning guys and welcome to the lockdown day 42. At least it's dry today. It was raining yesterday when I was trying to do this. Well done for a good weekend, yeah? Really good numbers across all the classes. Really good day yesterday. I mean, I had three PT sessions yesterday, which I don't normally do. But I had uh, Graham Harris, who did fantastically. Really uh, started on the Easy Strength program. So session one out of 40 on Easy Strength. Uh, Wendy Bartram did very, very well with the mace and the deadlifting and the kettlebells outside. And then in the afternoon, I managed to fit in Alex uh, Nicole Bennett as well, who's getting so strong now. She's got about 36 kilos. She's swinging 32 kilo one hand swings, 22 kilo presses and snatches. So I had to move a couple of guys this week. It was raining in the week and, and they do normally train outside. So if that is the case, if that happens, then we can always or I can shift your session uh, you know, I'm sure the other guys are flexible as well. If you've if you've only really got an outdoor training space, we can kind of move that uh, to a time that's dry, uh, that works for you um, as well, which is good. I've got Yana in at half past seven this morning. So hopefully it's going to stay going to stay dry for that. So quick reminder, guys, if you haven't yet, I think most people have. I think the majority of you have now those four questions that you need to answer uh, for the Richer Life Resilience Training um, would have been emailed to you over the weekend. And there is a post on Facebook as well. Uh, can you make sure you email your answers back to richerlife at clairich.com today if you haven't already done that? Make sure you do that uh, as a matter of urgency now. That would be uh, fantastic. Okay, now, uh, in today's, uh, today's uh, post underneath this or above this, you're going to see uh, I'm sharing uh, the blog from Claire this week on uh, enhancing the high achievers uh, winning mindset. Okay, so that's gonna be in there. So if you haven't read that over the weekend, make sure you read that. Quick reminder guys, time's ticking now because the, the tactical strength challenge was due to happen on the 9th, which I believe is Saturday coming. So if you've registered for that and paid for that, make sure you go onto the Strong First website and you'll go through to the Throwdowns website and, um, and edit or amend your, your registration if you want to uh, postpone or defer your entry to the October Tactical Strength Challenge, which we'll be doing, you can still uh, do it uh, at the weekend, but you'll need to do it at home. You'll need to video it and that sort of thing. Um, so for most people, the equipment, they don't really have everything and the setup at home and the ability to film it well and everything. So if you want to defer your entries to October, then I'd, I'd highly recommend uh, you do that. Really good yesterday, caught up with a few of you. Uh, I caught up with Kevin Atwell, had a really good chat with uh, with him. Uh, caught up with Julia Childs, which was nice. Had a really nice chat with Paul Field again. Uh, and today I'm gonna get in touch with a few of you. I know Lou Scully, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be touching base with today and having a catch up with you, uh, along with a few with a few others as well. So I'm gradually speaking to people, but it is gonna be a bit of a longer process. Ian Chinook I spoke to over the weekend as well. It's going to take me a little while uh, in between everything else I'm trying to do, but I am making phone calls every day to speak to you guys. So today, you've got three great classes you can do, okay? 10 a.m. Uh, is stretch with Nikki, okay? 12 o'clock is um, pure movement, okay? 12 o'clock pure movement, I believe, with, um, with either Russ or Mark today. Um, and then 6 p.m. tonight, uh, spinning with Nikki, okay? And that's just a little reminder as well for me that put your requests in, please, for Saturday's total request spin. It was really good on Saturday. Had some good requests, had a real mixed bag of tracks, but it was really good fun. So I've already got some tracks from uh, from Pete Buckley and from Becca Johnson as well um, that have gone in for next week and already people have started to uh, put some requests in for Saturday. So do that for me. And as the requests come in this week, I'm going to just be popping them into a playlist and then I'll sort it all out at the end of the week. But then that'll make sure... Oh, Kevin Kevin Atwell as well sent me through some good, uh, some, some varied uh, requests as well, including I think Vivaldi's Four Seasons or something. I'll have to have a little look at that, see, see if that might work. But all in all, everything's going well. Should hear this week something from Boris about release, uh, you know, um, lifting the lockdown in stages and that sort of thing. So, uh, like I say, I would, I'm planning 100 percent to be to be to be sh the physical studio to be shut for the duration um, of May. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that, that's what will be responsible anyway. Things are starting to improve, um, 
and we'll stay what we're doing throughout May. Uh, Claire's Richer Life Resilience Training runs till the end of May as well. And then I'm hoping that at some stage, even near the start or the middle of June, we'll be able to open up to a degree. I think we'll probably start with one-to-one -one training with social distancing and everything, limiting the numbers of people in. Um, and a number of you have requested that even once we, when we go back to, uh, you know, normal or when we're, we're moving back to normal, that we still keep doing the online classes and group sessions because it gives you that flexibility to just be able to do sessions at home and dip in and dip out. And especially some of you live quite far away. So you might come to the physical studio once or twice a week and then you might want to do a couple of classes at home as well without needing to drive to the studio. Certainly things like, uh, you know, stretch and Pilates where you don't need uh, uh, equipment at home, but you can really have still a good session at home in, in your lounge on the floor and uh, you don't need to worry about equipment and then so that's something we will definitely be doing i had a couple of requests over the weekend about that and we'll be creating this kind of hybrid model where you can mix physical in-person training and virtual online training as well so it's really exciting and like i said back 42 days ago now it's my goal to come out of this you know fitter stronger leaner more efficient more simplified and to give you guys a better service and have a better business and a better product going forwards than we've ever had before. And I think we're really on track to doing that thanks to the fantastic team that we've got working with us. And thanks to all of you, all the members being so supportive and engaging so well with everything that we're doing. Okay, so that's it from me today. Make sure you answer those four questions if you need to. That's priority number one. And priority number two, not quite so important. <laughs> Put your requests in for Saturday spin and, uh, and I'll do my very best to make all of that happen. Cool. Okay. Until next time, guys, stay safe, stay strong, and I'll catch up with you in the morning. Cheers, guys. Bye.